Hello, uh, this video today is a demonstration of a semi-automated trading robot uh, that uses the polynomial regression channels um, to open and close positions. Okay, uh, just quickly show you here. These are the poly polynomial channels, pure PRC channels. What I'm going to quickly do is just show you the products that we've got on offer. And then I'm going to go into CTrader. I'm actually going to give you a demonstration showing you um, how the robot or the semi-automated trading robot works with CTrader. Okay, so I'm going to start. Um, by showing you the indicator. So you'll need to download this indicator for this robot to work. It's a free download. You just go to our website under trading software um, and it's, uh, where is it gone? Training indicators, free indicators, okay? But when you download the robot, automatically in your downloads, you'll have the indicator attached. So you shouldn't need to navigate to find it, but it's there if you wanna access it in any other way, okay? So the indicator goes into more detail, on, sorry, on the product page, it goes into more detail explaining the indicator. Currently, it only works for CTrader 3.5. I'm assuming by the time you watch this video, your broker is already offering this uh, version of CTrader um, and everybody's using it by now. So the product page will give you more information about it, okay, about the indicator, how to use it. There's also a video here. If you click on the video, it'll actually explain how to use the indicator. So everything you need to know about using the indicator is on this product page. Um, we also offer another product, which is a um, trade signals. So instead of opening positions, this product will actually send you either, either an email, pop-up message, telegram message, or an instant SMS text message. Um, so it's an instant message straight to your phone or your, or your um, telegram account, telling you that the price has reached the upper or lower band of the PRC um, calculated lines, okay? Now, a lot of people that are using this um, trade signals indicator have told us that they really want it to be automated. They're saying that they're spending a lot of time looking at the charts, waiting for the price to reach the band and having to manually enter a trade. So what we've gone ahead and done is create a semi-automated trading robot that actually um, does that for them. Now, the whole idea of this, that's why we call it a trade helper, is because it's not a fully automated trading system that you can run back tests. Um, the idea is that you already have a trading system that you're using for trading with these um, uh, bands, okay, with the PRC bands, and that you want to automate part of the task because you don't want to sit in front of the computer all day long waiting for the price to reach a certain value to enter a trade. This will do it for you when you're not at the, not at the computer, okay? So it's, it's been a demand that's been asked for by customers, so we've actually listened to what they said and implemented this system. So this example you can just see on here, the price touched the upper band, threshold. So it opened a sell position. You can see that it opened a sell position. Now you can close the sell position on the middle band or on the um, lower middle band, sorry, the lower inner band or the lower outer band. So you've got choices to close the position on any one of those calculated bands. And it calculates taking into account volatility and other factors to work out the channels. And if you want to know more information about polynomial regression channels and how it's calculated, again, at the product page here, gives you the formula tells you exactly what it is, what a PRC channel is, and you can click and read more about it on Wikipedia here, okay? So this product page should have all the information that you need to get started. Um, you can download the trial version just by clicking on there. And if you like the software and you wanna, but, um, yeah, sorry, the trial version is for 14 days. And if you do like the product, you can then just add it to cart and go through checkout and buy it, okay? Again, this is only for Ctrader version 3.5. Um, if I scroll down the bottom, um, you'll notice that you get the high impact news event management with it. So it's okay trading with this. Um, if you leave this running automated and there's going to be a high impact news event that, that's unpredictable and that could run, say, 100 pips, then you could lose. So we've integrated the news manager plugin uh, free of charge that allow you to stop trading and the option to close positions before the news release occurs. So you can specify how many minutes before the news release. Um, we're going to put this video in here. That's why it's blank at the moment. You've got a product support page. So you just click on there, it'll take you to the product support page. If you've got a problem with the product, you can submit a support ticket by clicking on there. Okay, so what will happen is it'll take you to the uh, support page. And on the support page, it's got an introduction. It's got how it works. So it gives you more information here, and it, uh, an example trade setup, okay? And it's got adjustable settings and it explains each adjustable setting that you can use. So this video today, we're going to go to C Trader now, and I'm going to explain, um, you know, verbally exactly how to use it. 
So I'm going to open up CTrader, which is already here. This is what you'll see. <clears throat> because it's a semi-automated trading system, I'm going to do it on the trade uh, module or the tr trade window, not the automate window. You've also got an automate window where all your C bots are located and you can run fully automated systems from here where you need to have very little chart interaction. Okay, so I'm going to go over to the um, trade window. Now on the chart there, I'm going to change the chart to include the PRC indicator because again, you're going to be um, manually um, interacting with the trades as well. That's why it's semi-automated. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, I don't like this view, so I'm going to grab my template and I'm going to call it black. Where's it gone? Okay, this is my black template. I'm going to zoom out and then I'm going to add the PRC indicator. It's a custom indicator and I have to try and find it now. There it is. Okay, so this indicator has actually got some trade signals, but I want to turn them off because I'm using um, my own signals from the CBOT. So one thing that's very important, the indicator settings where you've got degree, period, inner and outer band deviation have to be the same as the settings that's going to be on the robot. I'm going to show you that now. Okay, so on the robot, I'll get rid of that one because it's MACD. I'm going to open up the um, trial version. Now, this is the settings for the robot that you saw in the, the other page that our product support page. Now, the PRC settings are here. You can see degree, period, inner and outer band. Now, these values have to be the same, mostly because um, if you're looking at the chart and you've added the indicator to the chart, if you haven't got the same settings, it won't correlate. Positions will open when they shouldn't open. But you do not need the indicator on the chart to actually use this robot. It runs in memory. Um, because we're going to be, um, you're going to be using this to interact with the trades as well, then you do need it on. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just cancel that. So I'm going to apply that actually to put it on the chart. And I'm going to save this template because uh, next time I run this, I want to use this template. So I'm going to call it PRC. So it's saved now. Now I'm also going to, I'm going to show you what I've done. I'm going to do two Euro USDs. So I've got the robot on one chart for Euro USD. I've got another chart with Euro USD and I'm going to add the robot to that as well. Again, you just go into um, the robots and you just add it to the chart and apply. <clears throat> okay. Cause I've just saved that template. I don't need to go through and uh, make all the changes that I did before. I can just go to template PRC and it's got the same same view. Okay, and you can use that on all of your charts that you open up each time you open up a currency symbol chart. Now there is a reason that I've um, added two euro dollar one minute charts, and I'll, I'll explain that now. So what I'm going to do is open up the parameter settings of the robot. Now the first um, parameter setting you've got there is instant name. Now the whole idea is if you are going to have two charts or two robot instances running um, with the same symbol then you really want to have different instance names. Uh, this is so that the robots work independently and they don't um, conflict with each other, each other's trades. It won't close the other one's trade. So you can have different settings for the same symbol as long as you've got a different instance name. So this one we're going to call 001. And on the other one, I'm going to call 002. Okay. So a unique instance name if you're going to use the same symbol. If you're not using the same symbol, then it doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm going to go back here go back into the uh, parameter settings. So what I'm going to do now is just go through the parameter settings for you. Okay. Okay. Lot size. That's pretty standard. That's just your position size. Um, open on tick. I've got it set to yes. What this means is every time the price changes, it's called a tick of data coming into the platform. So it's called tick data. So every time, sorry, every time price changes, yeah, it's tick coming in. So if you select yes, then if the price moves up, as soon as it touches, say the inner band, or the outer band, it will open a position as soon as it touches. Okay. Um, if you select this to no, it will wait until the candle closes. It uses on bar close. So what will happen is if it touches um, a band to open a position that you specify, it will not open a, open a position until the close of the candle. As soon as the candle, candle closes or it's formed, and in this case, it's every one minute. So each one of these bars is one minute. As soon as it closes, as long as it's above, or touching on one of the bands that you've specified, it will open a position. If during the candle formation, it goes and touches the, say the inner band there, then drops down and touches it and drops down, it won't open a position. So if you select no for the open on tick, it's more of a stronger confirmation that the price has actually um, reached that, that band. Um, but you can experiment with the two. You can use both on tick and on bar. 
So the actual next value, close on tick, that's exactly the same thing. Um, you can specify when you want it to close, which part of the bands. And again, it's either every time the price changes or wait until the close of a candle. OK, stop loss and take profit. This is pretty standard. When it opens a position, if you set a value there, it'll have a predefined preset stop loss and take profit. Um, long trades and short trades. This allows you to identify which direction the trend is going. So an example would be, um, let me just apply that. An example would be, in this case, it looks like there's a strong bullish trend. So you only want to open up long positions. Every time it touches the lower band, you want to open up a long. And you don't want to do short until it touches the lower band again. OK, so you identify a, a, a strong trend um, on a higher time frame. Then you can go back to your lower time frame and then say, I only want to open up long positions. OK, so it's the same for short. You can choose um, long or short. Now, I'll just go back to the PRC settings. Again, these three values have to correlate with the values that's on the indicator. Now, these two values down here are very important. Open position target. Now, this is when a position opens. OK, in the case of a long position, this is the inner band here. I'll just draw a line. Oops, that's really loud, isn't it? I'll just draw a line. Oh, wrong one. Delete that. I want a horizontal line. I'll just make it white. Now, this band here, now in this case, if you're going to open up a long position, this is the inner band. This is the outer band. This is the middle band. This is the inner band for a short position. And this is the outer band for a short position. Now, if I go back to the parameter, parameter, parameter settings, in this case, um, I'm actually going to cancel that and move this down here. Let's start again. OK, so if you wanted to open up a long position, if you were to choose inner there, then it would have opened the long position by now because it's actually touched the inner, as long as you've got on tick set to no. That's uh, so a yes. OK, if you were to select outer for the open position, it will wait. The price will wait until it touches this white line. So it's the outer um, PRC band. Then it will open up a long position because we've already identified um, that the trend is going um, bear, uh, bullish then we only want to do bullish trades. So we would turn off um, shorts and just open when it touches one of these bands. OK, so the same thing would happen to a cell. If I, oh, I hate that noise. The same thing would happen to a cell. This is the inner band. So if you were to set this to inner, as soon as it touches the inner band, it will open up a, a cell. If you select it to outer, as soon as it touches the outer. Now, you've also got to take profit target. So I'm going to go back to buy, uh, buy positions now. If a position opened on this lower band, you can set the take profit target to be um, any one of them, none, middle, inner or outer. So in this case, if it was a long position that opened up when it touched the white line, you can say it won't do this one. It will only start from here. So I take profit target. Wrong one. I take profit target. We'll start from there. So if you set the take profit target to outer, it will wait until the price touches the outer one there. OK, if you set the take profit target to inner, it will wait until the take profit touches this um, inner line there. And if you set it to middle, it will wait until the take profit. Sorry, it'll wait until the price reaches the middle line. So it gives you the option that you can open a position on the lower white band and you can close a position here, here or here. OK, so you've got three options to close the position. This will all do it automatically for you when you're not looking at the PC. OK, so News Release Manager, if you say activate NRM, which is News Release Manager, it will it will turn on the News Release Manager plugin. Um, again, we've got separate documentation um, and on the product support page, I won't go into it now, but it tells you um, in full depth, in depth, how to configure and set up your News Release Manager and how to use it. So on a product support page, there's plenty of links and articles that actually explain how to use this. I won't go into it now, but it's a separate product or a separate CBOT that you download, configure, um, load in news events, and then run. But as far as your robot's concerned, once you've done that, you just set these parameters here. So close open positions. If you select yes, um, so many minutes before a news release, if you had a position opened using this um, trading system, it will automatically close. So again, if you're not at your computer, and uh, it opens up a position and there's a news release imminent, 
you don't want to be gambling. Um, the high chance are you might just want to close your position, take a small loss or a small profit and not, and not risk. OK, so the trailing stop is a standard trailing stop that we use. You can say include trailing stop, yes or no. If you say yes, um, a standard feature where you can actually um, activate the trailing stop, in this case, when it's 20 pips in profit. And as the price keeps increasing, it trails five pips below the price. If the um, price drops, it will stop out. Um, again, full description of this is on our product support page. We've also included trading hours. So certain symbols will only trade between certain hours or you would want to, sorry, you'd only want to be trading between certain hours. So you can experiment with, for example, only trading in the morning, afternoon or any time you feel um, it's not going to affect your trading because certain instruments are definitely um, affected by, I don't know, it could be anything, banks, brokers doing a high activity at certain times of the day or high volatility, which is unpredictable at certain times of the day. You can avoid it. OK. So that's the settings for it. And what happens is, I'm just going to remove these lines. I just remove these lines for you. I'm just going to run the robot quickly and just show you what happens. Before I do, I'm going to poo, I'm going to open a position on the inner and take profit on the middle. OK. Now I'm going to run the robot. Now the first thing you'll do, you'll see just this 14 day trial version, just click yes. If you find any bugs, click on that little button you saw there. So well, as soon as it touches that inner, it should open a position. You'll notice straight away that you specified to open on the inner and close. Sorry, I'll start again. These two lines you've got here with the red and green arrows, they show the actual um, targets that open in a buy or a sell. Now I'm hoping in a buy will open in a minute because I can show you that because we set the take profit on the middle, when a buy does open, it actually um, will show you the line, the target line for the take profit, and it will tell you how many pips you are away. Uh, so it gives you more, some more information. Now, that if you use the take profit, it actually hides these values from your broker. So your broker won't know that where it's going to take a profit. It's already um, set in the robot. Okay, not if anybody's kind of worried where about um, targets. Okay, so I was hoping that it would touch that line. There's a high probability that it will. Um, as soon as it does, it will open a position, and I can just quickly show you. Um, see, it's the reason it's not, yeah, it's readjusted again. So I know I'm babbling on a bit. So every time um, a bar closes, the PRC line is readjusted because it's recalculated. So um, it gives you more a realistic view of what's going on. So it's dropped down a bit further there um, because it's taken into account all the previous price, price action to calculate the next one. So I'm hoping I can quickly open this one back up. So I've set the inner target as inner, yeah. So in this case, We've got to wait until that actually reaches the inner, which probably won't on this video demonstration. I might be sat here all day while it's doing it. So the only thing I can do is probably go to a different time frame to see if it's done it. I'm just going to stop that. I'm just going to go to five minutes, 15 minutes. No, none of them are touching. They're all pretty much in the center. There you go. That's touching the top one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to Change this to outer to start because it's touching the outer band. Take profit middle. I'm going to start. Actually, it's just gone below that line now. Oh, shit, I've got the wrong one. Outer, let me change that. Okay, for those of you that are bored by now, you know, you don't have to watch this anymore. I just wanted to quickly show you at the end of the video um, a position opening, really. So it never works the way you want it to work, is it? Okay, let's try that. OK, there's the targets there. It's not actually touching the targets and it won't do on a one hour time frame. So it looks like I can't show you. But if you actually um, download the demo version and run it, um, you'll see for yourself. And I think we've actually got it on the product support page, um, how it works. Um, where'd it go? No, it's not on here. Maybe it's on the actual product page. Yeah, sorry about this. Yeah, so it would come up like this and it will actually show you the target and how many pips you are away from the target. That's all I wanted to show. I'm really sorry about that. Um, probably wasted everybody's time there. So this is the actual product. Um, it was created to um, allow traders to either trade manually using the PRC channel um, and get alerts sent to them or automate the actual method of doing it. Um, and it was asked by traders that wanted this. So if you are interested, just go to our product page and you should be able to download it from here. Have a play with it. Download the trial version first. See if you like it.
and if you do go ahead and purchase it. Okay, if you do like the video, please give me a thumbs up at the end because it helps our, our rankings on Google and all the rest. Thank you very much.